Hi, I'm Keenan Duffy. You're watching Life Minute TV. He's dressed the Sex Pistols, collabed with David Bowie, and has played alongside the likes of Patti Smith, Blondie's Clem Burke, and so many others. Award-winning British fashion designer, musician, and author Keenan Dufty stopped by our Life Minute studios in New York City recently to tell us all about his journey and new album, King Boy Vandals, with his band, Slinky Vagabond. So our new album is called King Boy Vandals, which is an anagram of Slinky Vagabond and it's 10 tracks that were recorded mainly in Italy uh, during the pandemic with my musical partner Fabio Fabri, who's the producer, guitarist, and co-writer of the record. We were fortunate enough to get everything done before lockdown really started. And then once the pandemic started, we thought, okay, this is an opportunity to sort of rope in some of our buddies who now have a little bit of time and uh, can contribute uh, to some of the tracks, you know. So it was actually a really good creative opportunity for us. And we got folks like Midgior, who's famously known as one of the co-founders of Live Aid. We have David Torn, who's part of the Bowie band, who played on the track. Uh, my friend Richard Fortas from Guns N' Roses, who came in. And um, yeah, a whole bunch of guys. So the album is really the sum of its parts. It's got a lot of clam. Uh, influence uh, a, a lot of sort of British rock and roll, uh, British punk. Um, it's kind of the, the music that Fabio and myself grew up with that we've been playing all of our lives. And you know, some of the tracks were tracks that had actually been written before this recording session. There are a couple of tracks that I, I demoed already and some that, that Fabio had done. So we kind of brought everything into the mix and made this melting pot. So it's a very cool outcome. Driving round abandoned towns. Fausto Fabri, who's the son of my music partner Fabio, uh, has directed and produced a number of videos for us for the record. Um, a couple of them for the first single, The Beauty in You, is very sort of nostalgic, um, uh, kind of black and white found footage imagery of old New York, and it's kind of really exploring the beauty and decay. So you have all of these sort of uh, elements of beauty that I find really beautiful, um, but they're not necessarily traditional, traditional beauty. So Fausto captured that in the video. I see the beauty in you. I got into music as a little kid watching a British TV show called Top of the Pops. That was the first place that you saw people like David Bowie, Roxy Music, and even a lot of the punk bands that came along later in the 70s. And they were very much my influence. You know, I grew up on a diet of glam rock, of David Bowie, of Mark Bolan, of The Sweets. Uh, and then once punk exploded, that gave everybody the permission to kind of pick up a guitar and play out of tune and sing out of tune, which I still do, actually. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it get, kind of gave us the freedom to just express ourselves. It was totally music that got me involved in image and that kind of led me into really aspiring to create an image uh, which led me to go to fashion school and I went to fashion school purely because I would see folks in glossy magazines and all the best dressed ones went to Central St. Martin's so I thought I've got to go there and um, I, I, as a designer I kind of operated a little bit outside of the mainstream um, but it was really the image of those musicians you know, that I would see on TV, and you would really want to emulate them. I was really lucky in the mid-2000s. Uh, David Bowie had, had worn some of my clothes at various stages, and um, I was very lucky that I was able to connect with him and actually design a collection in collaboration with him for Target. And you know that was a great opportunity um, to to kind of work with one of your heroes. You know, it's something that you you long for as a as a creative, but you don't necessarily think it's going to happen. And also, the outcome was really wonderful because he was a great person. He was very witty. He was very generous in his creative expression, and he kind of allowed for someone else, in this case myself, to to really express myself within that project. David Bowie sadly passed away in 2016, as you know, the whole world knows. And um, the Council of Fashion Designers of America, of which I'm a member, asked me if I would style a tribute to him. 
and it was an amazing tribute. We have Michael C. Hall singing Changes, and we have these three models coming out with this amazing hair that was colored by David Adams. So they had the full Bowie plumage and these, you know, original outfits. And it was, I think, a really wonderful tribute to David. You know, it was done in a very, very authentic way. Um, and I was really, really grateful to be part of that and to be invited to, to be involved. So it was, uh, it was great. I've been very fortunate to work with Bowie, to work with the Sex Pistols. I dressed them for one of their American tours and then went on to become friends with some members of the band and actually create the first version of Slinky Vagabond with Glenn Matlock who's the bass player of an original Sex Pistol, one of the original founders of the band. So, you know, there's been, I've, I've had a lot of uh, synchronicity and, and luck in my career, and you know, I, I'm very, very grateful for that. For me, music and fashion have always been kind of together. A few years ago, I uh, co-wrote a book called Rebel Rebel anti Style, which you can see here, and it really documents uh, 10 aspects of anti-style. So, Iconic garments, the leather motorcycle jacket, the white t-shirts, the blue jean, that have been rebellious items of clothing and continue to be and are always reinvented throughout history, whether it's back to James Dean and Marlon Brando in the 50s, or you know Michael Jackson in his leather thriller jacket. These are all different iterations of those garments. You know, younger artists today take those images and reinvent them all the time, you know, whether it's BTS or whether it's Lady Gaga, you know, wh whoever it is today is, is taking those sort of totems and, you know, making them theirs for a new generation. So it, it, it's this sort of evolving rebellious style that kind of keeps inspiring us throughout the ages. To hear more of this interview, visit our podcast, Life Minute TV on iTunes and all streaming podcast platforms.